Mr. Jacob, it's Nico. You got time for a quick game of darts? Yeah, me asleep, man. Coming back about two o'clock or so. See? Sorry, Jacob. I didn't realize what the time was. You're a terrible man! You superstitious old crone! I'll see you in hell! Someday I'll crucify you! Nico Bellic. Yes. Good name. Good name. Where's Dimitri? He's busy. Uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something, yes. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. Yeah. You all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out of control bitch. Because of you, <laughs> you pathetic mess. <laughs> but I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico. She's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right.
Am I property of the lost now? Ha, <laughs> if you were property, then all the brothers would get to share you. I want you all <laughs> to myself. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about her. I care about discipline and loyalty. Thank you. So don't get upset. Don't make a fool of yourself. Don't lose your head. Please get a grip on yourself. There's nothing worse you can do. There's nothing worse they can do. There's nothing worse they can do. There's only one thing. It's me. So listen, Jacob, you want to play some darts? Okay, my brother. We love to be a dad. Come on my place and about the hour. Good, I'll be there in a bit. Watch out, people. 
outside a methadone clinic in Port Tudor. Mike White with Weasel News. In Armageddon News, Liberty City is as hot as balls. Let's go, Star. But some residents just aren't buying that it's global warming. These scientists are a bunch of shows. Well, well, right, What's up, Jacob? Boy, it's good to spend some quality time here. Yeah, you see? Yes. Not all work, 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 you know? You gotta ease up from time to time to see how the world turns out. You know what I'm saying? I think so. The world can mess you up, you know? Make you think that things matter when all that matters is that the sun come up and we have a good time and laughter and things, you see? I hope so, man. I do. You're up in on the even for a shot. Right, what's going on? They are requesting joggers and late night walkers to be especially careful. We will stay with the story and try to get people really hysterical. Chanting. Come on, Star. Oh, baby, you're killing me over here. You're wanting the sex with me? No, thank you. Goodbye. Look at that! Come and sit on my knee, Cherry Blossom! Please, don't be a pig! I should have gone pro. One dart away. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dead's dead. Sorry. Yeah, matter more to you than me, you know, Rasta. Take me home, star, back to my house. Step up! You might want to be more careful next time. Touch me. You're a man, so the world is on your shoulders. He wants to kill things and then mate with them. Hi, I'm Jeremy St. Ives. Maybe you know me from the men's room. It's Maz and Jeremy. I'm gonna show all you men out there a common, more loving pack. At Male Aromatherapy Incorporated, we have the sense that will help men relax and travel to their childhood. Inhale deep and revisit that first summer romance under the bleachers with a cheerleader or in a tent with your scout master. Mix and match scents such as chamomile shower, jasmine, Spanish donkey, college pants, tea tree tea baggy, unspoken gay longing, mother's love, your aunt's breasts, and much, much more. Male Aromatherapy Incorporated. Inhale, exhale, repeat. You're metrosexual now. Sometimes a family wants that Italian taste without those tiny Italian portions. That's why you should come to Al Dente's. All the Mamma Mia you can eat. It's Italian. We'll just get there. Damn these people. Hey, Roman. Brucey, have you met my cousin, Nico? This is Brucey. We met online. Oh, loveme.net? <laughs> no. In a dark corner, doing dark deeds. We're both players, my friend. Players. VIP. For real. Classy. But also sexy. Hmm. That's how I like my women. I work at it, so they should too, right? <laughs> yeah. What is he talking about? Bruce is a dreamer. Uh -huh. He understands my vision. <laughs> oh, so he's an idiot. Hey! <laughs> Screw you! Listen, man. You should try going online. Uh, I know how to go on the line. I just haven't done it here. <laughs> of course. Technophobe. Ludite. We gotta get you online. It's a world of opportunities! Such as? Uh, all kinds of things. Yesterday, I was online and I discovered a blog about women who don't like to shave. That's pretty important. Listen, I promised Brucey I'd go out with him. Can you go out and get it sorted? Uh, okay. Go to Twat and register on one of the PCs there. The pretty girl is expecting you. I'm bored of not being able to email your cousin, and the family keeps sending me news for you. Brucey, yeah! stop but... exercising. Okay. Let's put some bitches to the sword. VIP style, come on! He's a cool guy. Narovna do mlogu, da dobjem preko interneta. Misliš da sem lud?
Hey there. My name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman, he called me about you. He's so funny. I set you up on that computer already. It's easy. Just follow the instructions on there, okay? I see you again, Roman's cousin. Come back anytime. The name is Nico. I'll see you around. I have set up the email account. I am now online in Liberty City, Roman. Nice one, cousin. Did you meet the girl who works there? Nice pair of titties out there, no? Later on. to pump him full of steroids and tell him how great his abs are? No, he can take care of that all by himself. Brucey is a major motorhead. He's going to send you emails about all the cars he wants, and you're going to get them for him. What are you going to do? Come on! I made the introduction! I'm the manager, man! Go check your emails, Nico. Let's hang out soon, okay? Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? 
When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? After you walk into a village and you see 50 children all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. What is that? Uh, I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Uh, you stupid uh, bitch! Uh, <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. Uh, what did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money? Fuck the money. Mikhail, please, calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schottler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, pick up the explosives. You should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. Stopping at a sleazy motel to cook up a batch? Or do you think of patriots in love right. with beards and beers having a good time? Both images are out of date. Outlawed more like games such as the Angels of Death and the Lost are engaged in a war on the streets of Liberty City. A war with many casualties. Yeah. No just the fighters that kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Terrorists don't have the left. Left. Okay, the these thugs traffic. Whoever comes out on top of this war, it won't be Liberty City. Online dating has overtaken being set up by friends or spiking her drink as the favorite way for Liberty City's men to meet loose women. Sites such as lovemeet.net and craplist.net have helped Liberty City's many lonely hearts find soulmates, or at least a desperate slob to sleep with for the afternoon. In radio entertainment news, that annoying Mike Jock Laszlo is returning to the airwaves after a six-year absence in which he was tossed by community leaders. He announced that the station will be called Integrity and will 
will be all about integrity. Laszlo lost his radio job after the Paola scandal, and quite frankly, because he had a potty mouth. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Has anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me.
break and get our next guest out here. Get this. He's 11 and he's a super genius. Back after this. Public Liberty Radio. Free radio. Free radio. Interesting content. Just blather. Nico, by the way. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Faustin. Uh huh. <sighs> 
You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Nico! Nico Belli! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when he killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen had I not been there. Meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. God! You'll enjoy your fight like a. The stronger I I got where I am from. I'm a man. I need you. It's closing time. Get your coat.
Don't get up! Dimitri turned on me! Don't get the way out! The very command is defeated! Dimitri will turn on you as well! You shall discover this! I am a man of convictions! I have only done what I believe! None of you will survive in this country without me! This American dream takes everyone! It's like a disease! Only I am still sane! Finish you off. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing, a hard thing, but a good thing. Hopefully, this will mean peace with Petrovic. I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, but I can't see the art can't leave us. They are come with you. Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohane. I know the one. You see around the back. Brandon Roberts. Okay. Hey Brandon, I really like you in all those situation comedies like like when you go back to elementary school as an adult and sleep with your mother by mistake. It's funny as shit. But I have to say, I'm tired of all this green shit. These environmentalists haven't done us any favors. It's why all our food comes from China now. China's gonna take us over. Exactly. That's why I drive a hybrid SUV to the organic market across the world. I imported organic Norwegian mushrooms that have been flown in, burning tons of pollutants, killing the pollutants, so they can't pollute anymore. See, that's what makes me an environmentalist. I understand the science. I know how it works. I got taught it in drama school. See, I only drink bottled water that's shipped from Samoa and set a pump from a well across town because everything here is just so dirty. It, it, it's a lot like my new film. There's a... 